And it doesn't stop there, my friends. Will you welcome up the most amazing, the most lovely, the most brilliant, Stephen K. Amos. Oh, goodness. Hello, everybody. Uh, it's great to be Can I just say thank you, ladies? Fucking, that's amazing. That's, uh, look at this. It's the future. Hmm? A bit like Russia. <laughs> Uh, yeah, like everyone has said, I'm also very happy uh, to be here to lend my support. Uh, a friend of mine was killed seven years ago in a homophobic attack in London. And that made me uh, make a documentary called Batty Man. I don't know if anyone saw that. And uh, I did a show about it in Edinburgh about five years ago. And a young white teenage boy came up to me and he said, I saw your show Batty Man on TV and it made me tell my parents I was gay. And my mum looked at me and said, you're still my son, I love you. And that just inspired me to let me know that each and every one of us, particularly here this afternoon, you're here to lend your support. We all have a story, we all have a journey. I myself have experienced prejudice in all sorts of forms. I did a, a show in the East End of London, a place called Bo, do you know it? Yeah, it's full of men, geezers, men, real men, men who can barely read, but nonetheless, <laughs> men the sort of man that goes right mate how's your father fuck off i don't know me father wanker <laughs> so i thought these aren't my natural audience but what can i use to get them on side so i said this i said hi there anyone in from overseas a little voice at the back went yeah mate you <laughs> i didn't understand and at the end of the gig the same young man comes right into my face and he goes oh mate mate i never knew i never fucking knew black people were funny I know, and I said, well, some of us ride bikes. <laughs> have been known to ski. <laughs> Work with rudimentary tools. He didn't know what I meant. <laughs> so I think I'm winning. And that's the beautiful thing about coming to Edinburgh for the festival, right? Even the Lord is on our side. This is a rainy fucking city. Not one drop. Damn you, Russia! <laughs> Look at it. It's amazing. And you can always have a laugh here throughout the month of August, particularly with our American friends who come to stay and enjoy the shows. Last, uh, last week, when it was raining, two Americans walked up to me. I knew they were American because they were wearing bin liners. <laughs> One of them says to me, excuse me, sir, up there in the distance, is that Edinburgh Castle? Is that the castle? I couldn't resist. I said, no, that's Gotham City. <laughs> They're like, oh my God, you know everything, who are you? I said, I am the last king of Scotland. <laughs> just see, just see, they're just jokes. Just see. And uh, if you're not from uh, Scotland, do what I did uh, last year, go and visit the Highlands, uh, a place called Aviemore. Now the locals call it the Hollywood of the Highlands. I can assure you, it is not. <laughs> One light bulb does not Hollywood make, and there's no, no real diversity up there either. There are no ethnic minorities, there are no Ouija's, there are no women. I mean, <laughs> obviously there are, but you can't always tell the difference. And I said to the lady organizing the show, I said, excuse me, are there any black people here in Aviemore? She was like, oh, hi, oh, hi. There's black Tony. <laughs> I was intrigued, I had to find black Tony. I found him, he was Spanish. <laughs> well, that's what I about you Scots, you're quite direct, yeah? You're so direct. I was in a fish and chip shop last night. I said, excuse me, love, is that cod or haddock? She looked me in the eye and she went, fish. <laughs> you, you can't argue with that, can you? And when I was in fish and chip down, down south in Plymouth on a gig, uh, I said, um, do you have any tartar sauce with that? The guy looked back at me quizzically and said, no, but we've got lilt. <laughs> the totally tropical taste. But I, for one, and anybody here who feels they were a minority or being judged, what you, you never ever should be, have to uh, have any reason to look over your shoulder. Be honest with who you are. And that's why I can't bear hypocrisy, right? Top of this uh, year, uh, the Archbishop of St. Andrews and um, Edinburgh, Keith O'Brien, yes? Very, vo yes, very vocal opponent of same-sex marriage and um, uh, abortion, etc. Very vocal about it. Then uh, somebody made serious allegations against him. He issued a statement saying, I will fight these allegations vigorously. 
Wesley. Thousands of, of Catholics around Scotland defended him based on that statement. A couple of weeks later, he issued another statement saying something like, sorry, but I touched cock. Now, <laughs> obviously I'm paraphrasing, but what a dickhead, right? I know, don't ever want to be judged, right? My first early gig, the audience didn't like me at all. I got nothing, so I got very, very drunk. At staggering home about 10 o'clock at night, in the distance, I saw a little old lady. And folks, as she clocked me, she clutched her handbag thus. Yes, yeah, something inside me died, folks. So I went over to the little old lady, and I took that handbag. <laughs> if you expect fear, I will bring you fear. Did you hear that, Russia? If you expect fear, we will bring you fear. We will not take this lying down, right? And can I just personally add another big thank you to each and every one of you and to the wonderful, the most amazing man I know, Mark Thomas, for making this fucking happen. Thank you.